The secret to finding the missing side of this triangle is to split this up into two right triangles and solve for the two missing sides. Now, if you first focus on this right triangle, you can use what's called the Pythagorean theorem, which says that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. The c term refers to the longest side of the right triangle, which is known as the hypotenuse. The a and the b are just the other two legs of the triangle. It does not matter. So if you plug the numbers in, you should get that 4 squared plus b squared is equal to 9 squared, since 9 is equal to c. Now, I trust that you can do the math here on your own, so I'm just going to skip over that step. But if you solve for b in this problem, you should get that b is the square square root of 65. So now that we've solved for all the sides of this right triangle, I can go ahead and do the same thing for the other right triangle. This is a famous right triangle. This is known as the 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So if I'm trying to solve for the missing side x, it's going to be 3 plus the square root of 65. So this right here is the answer to the problem. 